What's happening? It's Feature Tuesday time once again, episode 249. My name's the MC Jack, and this week I've been all over the place. I've been at Cambridge United Football Club, I uh, went up to Skegness, doing a Raven, Seaside, Amusements. Fucking loads of shit. Go and have a look, man, you know the score. Cheers, Jeff. Yes, this is Jack here at Pitchside Cambridge United. Cinema for Venom, got to be done. Been waiting for this one. <laughs> Show. Definitely all about the donuts at the seaside. So, whose idea is it to come to the seaside with this? Fucking freezing! Let's get this beach. She's a bit fucking choppy today, geese. Fucking windy out here. Went down down that pier last week. Arcades again. What'd you get, Simone? You ended up picking the tie. I don't want a cat. Oh, it's a cat. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Oh, you've got to love a Monday morning. Monday is a done day. Well, that was a struggle. Roll on Friday. Quite a sunny day for October. Love all that. So that's the vids from the week. Um, so yeah, I was up in Skegness at the weekend. Shout out to anyone I see floating around, anyone I spoke to, because I I was floating around for a bit and I got to chat to quite a few people, which is good. Um, so much love for all the people that turned out and supported Dave and myself and the other artists. That set was pretty cool. <laughs> um, it's, kind of, it's so weird, man, because I really enjoyed the evening. I had a great time. It wasn't as busy as some of the other Subsonics have been, but I still felt like there was a good group of people there that were there for the right reason that want to have a party and had a stomp, and because of that, there was a great atmosphere in there. And It was a bit of a strange one. Um, obviously, it's, it's easy for me to say that when I was on the headline set of the night, so it's, it, I don't know. But it wasn't... It wasn't Shit, do you know what I mean? They've said, everyone's like, oh yeah, he's fucking, he's not doing subsonic anymore, it must have been terrible. And it wasn't terrible, it was actually better than a lot of fucking parties that I've been to that are still running out, do you know what I mean? <laughs> what people don't understand is the accumulation of shit that's hit Dave and the people up at subsonic over the past year. Like, ever since January, it's got steadily and steadily worse. Like, snow fucked him, putting thousands of pounds behind out of the goodness of his heart and because he wanted to have a party as well and because he was pissed off because he didn't get to have his party he then put on a rave the week after at a massive cost to himself yeah things like that little things local residents were kicking off and room 2 getting shut down little things yeah someone at the Sun Castle stealing money off of Dave little things but all these things they add up and Dave's a fucking good mate of mine. Like, I, I love him to bits. And I can see why he's done this. I don't fucking blame him in the slightest. If it was me, and I was having to go to my job, and work the stupid hours that I work, and then having to give all that money to other people, I wouldn't do it either. There's love in something, and doing something for the love, and fucking being in it for the right reasons, and then there's completely fucking yourself over. Now, I've heard a lot of opinions floating around. I've seen a lot of shit going on about, oh, would have done this, shouldn't have done that, fucking shouldn't be booking these people, should be booking... I was, it, at the end of the day, yeah, for the past three, three and a half years, going on four years, 
Davis took a chance on lineups, booked a load of people. Fucking, some might say, oh, he's, he's punching above his weight, he's overreaching, fucking. At the end of the day, all them events that gave Subsonic that really good name were because Dave took a chance and it worked out. Yeah. It then got to the point, in my mind, where I was like, Subsonic's a banger, it's on the rise. It's, it's, it's all the way up, man, it's all the way up. But, these things always happen, man. Bubbles pop. Now, whether it's because unforeseen circumstances, whether Mother Nature, fucking what Dave's been doing with his lineups, whatever, yeah? It's fucking, it happens. Hyperbolic, yeah? Massive, really good, well busy for years. Where's the Leicester scene gone, man? This shit happens. And everyone's like, oh, fuck, it's the end of the scene. I'm not going raving anymore. This is bollocks. I'll tell you what. If that's your view. See ya. Times like these, you find out who's in this shit for the love. It's times like these, you find out the people that actually enjoy doing hardcore. And not the people that enjoy making money from doing hardcore. So I'll leave you with that thought. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Watch what happens. <laughs> Some fickle motherfuckers in this scene, man. And damn, Jesus Christ. I love this shit. That's why even though I don't make money from this shit, I still keep doing this shit. That's why... I told Dave not to worry about paying my fee. Now there's a load of people, a fucking load of people that got booked the other night that could have done the exact same thing. Where are they? I ain't saying I did it to be special. I'm not saying I'm special because I did it. All I'm saying is he's my fucking mate and I knew he lost out on a shitload of money so I told him not to worry about paying me. That's what mates do. <laughs> Fuck. I, I don't know, man. Fuck this. I got three words to roll now, I'm out of there. One. Common deer. Two. Repulsive. Oh, I like that. That's good. Oh, that's good. Number three. Twitch. Oh, yay. Straight up. Six minute rant. Talk. Speak. Whatever. See you next Tuesday, motherfuckers. Truth!